every time. Every time with the microphone. Why didn't you guys- why didn't you guys tell me? Why didn't you guys tell me there was no audio? I know, now I know looking in the chat that there was audio the whole time, but... I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I apologize. I apologize. Okay, let me just change this quick. Um, zip. Zap. Good, good, good. That's good, that's good, that's good. And then that, and then this. And then I need to do one of these. That's about right. That's in focus, I think. Great. Okay, good. Woo! We made it. How are you guys doing? Happy Sunday, guys. I feel rested. I slept like 12 hours last night. No problem in writing. Um, so, by the way, if you guys notice the chat is going crazy. So... One thing you can do is, um, you can hear me now, right? You can hear this, you can hear this. Tell me you can hear me. You can hear me, yes. Before I continue, you can hear me. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Elise. Alice. Thank you very much. Yeah, um, whatever you want to learn, that's what we're doing. That's the idea of this lesson, English and chill. You choose the lesson, grammar, pronunciation, vocabulary. If you have English homework, we'll do that too. Whatever you want, that's what we're gonna do. It's gonna be fun. I love these. So yeah, the chat goes really fast, really crazy. If you have a desperate, desperate question, um, use the super chat option um, or stickers. Uh, it helps the channel. There's a reason why they cost money. It helps the channel and it gets your message across. And I'll see it. You'll see it live on stream. You'll see it, it will appear over there, the other side of the thing. It's really fun. Okay, so um, let me quickly find some questions. Inside fillers. Fillers. We could do fillers. Can we uh, write some ideas down here? Fillers, you say? Pronunciation. Okay, if you have a specific answer, a uh, specific question, sorry, let me know. So, if you just say pronunciation, that doesn't help. Um, what exactly? Like connected speech. Uh, you want help with the glottal t? Minimal pairs, like bitch, beach. What exactly would you like to to learn? Yeah, that's not quite right. Past perfect, present perfect. Uh, I believe we did that last time, so I'll try and steer clear of too heavy into the grammar. Um, connected speech, okay. Yeah, super chat, it's not available in every country. Sorry about that. Um, I asked, I had a, an inter uh, interview, I had a meeting with Google a few weeks ago and they're trying to get it in more countries but I don't know how long it's gonna take um, which is correct by off or by from Kelly um, you can say both it's really really British to say buy off so I bought um, I bought a jacket off a friend with off, by off, that's off a person. <laughs> off a person. When you buy something from a shop or a company, you say buy from. But if it's, if it's a friend, you buy it off your friend. Where did you get that, um, I don't know. Where did you get that jacket? Oh, I bought it off a friend. Or if your friend gave it to you. I bought it, I got it off my friend. Articles, that's maybe, maybe we'll do articles. Job interview vocabulary, maybe, maybe, maybe. If clause and wishes, wishes, I like that. I have a big video coming for wishes. TH sound. Schwa. That's that one if you don't know. We 
think about James O'Brien. I fucking love James O'Brien. He's amazing. Um, he's like the only sensible one in this whole Brexit craziness. Um, Mr. Miss Ms. and Mrs. We could do that. We could do that. Mr. Miss Ms. and Mrs. Explain the difference between Light L and Dark L. Could do. Could do. Mixed conditional. Mixed conditional is fun. But I think we did that before, so I'll... Again, I want to try and do new ones. Uh, pronounce almond. Okay, yeah, so... There are two ways to pronounce this. I, I say almond because I'm a normal person. Some people will be like, almond. I mean, yeah, yeah, that's, I mean, that's what the dictionary will tell you to say, but if someone says almond, you're like, really, almond? You say almond. It's the same with, if you live in London, there's a, there's a tube station called Holborn. I say Holborn. I pronounce the L, but um, some people don't, and people might ask, how do you pronounce that station? Is it Ho, Hoban, or Holborn? I say Holborn, and I don't trust people who <laughs> say Hoban. <laughs> How to improve your speaking skills? Sergey Aleko. Great question. Yeah. Um, the best way of record of uh, improving your speaking skills, particularly if you don't have friends or if you don't know anyone who you can practice your speaking English with. For example, if you're in a country where English is not spoken by many people, for example, like Germany, France, lots of people speak English, but um, in another country, maybe not. So the best way is to immerse yourself, immerse your day in English. <laughs> oh, for God's sake, these bloody hiccups. Immerse your day in English. That means listening to podcasts all the time, listening to the radio, putting the TV on. Don't use the subtitles. Immerse yourself in English because listening is a passive speaking skill. So the more you listen, the more you get used to the sound, the flow, the intonation, right? So um, the more you listen, the better you're speaking. That really, really helps. Oh yeah, LBC is great. I love LBC. Um, it's it's talk radio, so it's really good practice. Which one's correct? I work for Google, or and then you left you left me hanging. You left me hanging, man. I didn't get the second part of your message. Um, maybe breathing the wrong way. Maybe maybe my lungs are like upside down. I don't know. But yeah, okay. So Wonderland. In answer to your question, I work for Google. You can say that, that's fine. That's correct. What the hell just happened? Put that there. Cool, okay, vocabulary slang regarding Brexit. Wow, that's timely, isn't it? Um, I mean, we could, we could, I suppose. Pronunciation of paper, pepper. So fan malrice, yeah, paper, pepper. Okay, that's quick. Let's do that. Paper, pepper. So this one, it's a short e, pe, pepper, pe, pa, pe, pa. That's a schwa sound. Pepper. That's an eh, that's an uh, pepper. This one, you got schwa here, that's fine. But this one, a, pay. 
A. There are two sounds and they go together. So you need to get that movement from the first sound to the next sound. A, E, A, E, A, pay, paper, paper. So you must feel the sound move in your mouth. A. Yeah. Oh yeah, so Rodrigo Oliveira. Yeah, perfect example. I'm listening to audiobooks. They really help. Um, There's a link in the description for audiobooks. I think you get like... It's like the first audiobook is free. Like you don't have to pay anything. You just get the audiobook, cancel it. You're fine. Um, and it's a free thing to practice with. Um, why am I called Learn English with Papa Teach Me? I, it was like the first idea I had. And I thought, I'll change it later. There's time. Yeah, now it's too late to change. So it was, it was the first and the worst idea. That was... How was the Brexit March? It was fun, actually. It was like, I hung out with a friend. If you listen to my podcast, um, the other guy who's on it, Ian... Uh, we met up, so we had a chat. It was hours and hours of walking through London. It was really good. It was nice to see so many people, you know, wanting a better future for, for England. It was very nice. It was very good. Um, whether anything will happen, I don't know. But it was nice to, you know, see everyone. It was really, really good. Um, okay. LinkedIn, how do you pronounce it? So, link... Think of it as two words. Link. Tin. T I N. Link. Tin. LinkedIn. That's how you pronounce that. Do you use LinkedIn? Do many people use it? I'm not really sure. Phrasal verbs with put. That needs a whole. Uh, that needs a whole video. I think. Hey in Turkey. Hey Asudi Usal. I hope your Sunday is have is great. I hope it's amazing. Usage of lack. Oh, that's a good one. What's the podcast called? Um, I think it's, it's Papa London. You can search for Papa London podcast. You'll find it. Cool. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's let's get started with some of these things. Okay, so let's start with their uh, wishes. I like wishes. They're really fun. So I want you to, while I teach you this, I want you to write your own examples of the grammar of the sentences, okay? So in the comments, write them. I'll try and find them. Um, so let's say, you know, you know the movie, whoops. There we go. You know the movie Aladdin? Guy finds a... Finds a little lamp thing. And he rubs it. And then what happens? Out comes Will Smith. And he says, you have three wishes. So my question to you is, if you had three wishes, what would you wish for? You have three wishes. So, the, here's, I'm going to give you the grammar first of all, then we'll discuss it and we'll break it all down, right? So, we said, let's just separate this so we know. People new to the chat, hi, welcome. Good to have you here. This is English and Chill, the chillest English class on the internet and off the internet. You'll never find an English class more chill. You'd wish for a, a thousand more wishes. Come her chumha choskun. Is that Turkish? Thousand more wishes. There's always one person. I wish for a thousand more wishes. You have to make them count, man. Money, money, money. 
yeah okay so wishes right um this is the grammar of it i wish um if it's a present wish um let's say okay so yeah tell me your wishes let's let's put this to you guys so some of you are saying like money some of you are saying job i wish a job I wish a job. I wish to speak like a native. Okay, so let's let's put these down. Let's write these down. Um, here we are. So what a job? Speak. Let's say perfect English. Why not? Speak perfect English. So some of you wish for a job. Some of you wish perfect English. Some of you wish for money um that wasn't will smith <laughs> it was genie i mean what did you think of that he went blue face so inappropriate power duck you wish for power you want to take over the world is that what you want pa power well okay holiday oh, that's i mean that's nice Everyone deserves a holiday. Everyone deserves a holiday and a friend. That's all you need. Hi in Malaysia, it's very nice to see you. How are you doing? Hey in Bangladesh. So the, uh, the topic of the live is you choose. The new guys just joining, this is English and chill. You choose the lesson. Uh, world peace, of course, of course. Um, you had a native English. Get married. Okay. Oh, that's okay. That is going to be an interesting one. So, yeah, grammatically, that one is a very interesting one. Uh, get married. Know the meaning of life. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, uh, these are good. These are really good suggestions guys i like these know the meaning of life these are some potential wishes that we could have okay that's what we're gonna do this is what we're gonna do uh oh oh my god oh my god there we are there we are um perfect there we are so i'm just sorting my my world out here right okay so the genie says you have three wishes but you need to know the, gram the grammatical form to make those wishes. If you say it wrong, you might die or something. I don't know. So if it's a present wish, you want to change your present. Ooh, do any of you have a wish about the past that you want to change? Maybe Frank, Frank Us Usechi, Frank Usechi, you wish that born in the UK. Okay. was born in the UK. So a wish about, that's a wish about the past, right? You wanna change a thing about your past. Okie dokie do. Let's be the next Beyonce. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, Chris English. Hope you get a million subs soon. That'd be fun, that'd be fun. We'd have to celebrate. Just moved to the UK before Brexit. Ah, oh, let's just hope Brexit doesn't happen. Wish past, past simple. So, one, I'm glad you said that. I'll try and come back to it if I remember it. There's a very common mistake with native speakers with wish, right? So, I'll talk about that. Wish I had another, wish I had 18 another. Oh, Liana, I think you mean I wish, okay, to be 18 again, right? I wish I had six daughters. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, Elena. I agree with Mummy Mima. What did you, what did Mummy Mima say? I missed that. I missed that message. I wish there were, oh, I wish there were peace, no climate change and health for everyone. Right, okay. So if, that is a great one. That is a great one. Um... 
I'm trying to find some past examples. Um, a dog when I was five. Okay, okay, okay. We can do that, we can do that. Um, had a dog. Oh, me too. I had a cat. I had two cats. One cat was really nice. It's the best cat ever. Um, just, I cuddle you all the time. It's the best cat ever. The other cat was insane. It'd scratch you for no reason. Um, dog when I was a child. Okay, let's do that. That was a good one. Do exactly that. Okay. So, this is the gram. This is how it breaks down. I wish, dot, dot, dot. If it's a present wish, you want to change the present. You want to change right now. So, yeah, like money, your job, speak perfect English. Let's use that one. Let's use that one as the first one. To speak perfect English. That's your wish. You want something right now. It's I wish. Should I write that one again or no? What happens to the verb? The verb is speak. Right. So what happens to the verb if it's a present thing? Okie dokie. Yeah. I think I saw it further up. I think I saw it further up. Oh, there we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for being a member, man. You're awesome. You got it right as well. Spoke. Francesco also spoke. Um, Dasha, you also could say, wish I could speak. So let's add that as an option. Can speak. We've got sp speak or can speak. It means the same thing. So if we take speak, we just put it to the past simple tense. Spoke. I wish I spoke perfect English. Oh, that's a bit off, isn't it? There we are. I wish I spoke perfect English. So we take the verb back to past simple. Nice and easy. Remember, this changes the present. But because it's an imaginary present, you wish a past simple verb. Same with this. I wish I could speak. I wish I could speak perfect English. So you have those options. Now, if it's a past, if it's a wish to change something about the past, that's different. For example, um, hmm. yeah, let's see, let's say dog. I wish, I, now what? So if it's present, it goes to past, but this is already past, right? So how do we change a past, which is already a past, for a wish? What do we change that to? Finish that sentence. Um, Richard, why can't you say, I wish I can speak perfect English? Because it's imaginary. The, the grammar structure, wish past simple. So it's grammatically correct to say, I wish I could speak perfect English. Yes, Dasha, you're very fast today. <laughs> yeah, Dasha Shebeko, perfect. h &L, high and low, had had, well done. Um, well, he's going very fast. Okay, so H251 had had. Perfect. Um, whoa, Abdullah, that's a confused answer there. I wish I have, could have, had a, <laughs> a bit different there. But yeah, basically, 
It's wish with a past perfect. That's how you change the past in wishes. What's past perfect? It's had and a verb three, a past participle, right? So I wish I had. We Remember, you start with had. You always have had. And that doesn't change if it's he, she, it doesn't change. But we start with had. This is already the same in past simple and verb three. So it's two hads. Oh my God, with the hookups, will I stop? I wish I had had a dog. When I was a child. I wish I had had a dog when I was a child. Okay. So this next one was born in the UK. That's past two. I want you guys in the comments to make that into a complete sentence. I wish I this. Correct the grammar for this one. I wish I what? Write your answers in the comments. Okay, sure. I wish I had an angel. So that means right now you wish you had right now. Get some water. Dude, I have, I have drinks everywhere, but Yep, okay, perfect. Ekaterina took a river. I wish I had been born. Nice grammar, Ekaterina. Wish I. Remember we start with had. Um, What's the verb three of this? Well, the base verb is be, right? So be, past, or verb two, that's was, or were. And then verb three is been had been born. I wish I had been born in the UK. So people who got that right, well done to all of you. You're really, really cool. Um, Elena, well done. Frank, Hussam, uh, Julie Miller, Thenglong, Dasha. Dasha, you're so, f how are you so fast at typing? Oh my God. Uh, Devegi, nice one, man. Palazzo, Jose Maria. Yeah, well done. Oh, Christina Arnaldi. I wish I hadn't married the man I married. Whoa, I hope he doesn't watch this channel. That would be embarrassing. Adriana, well done. Camille, well done. Day Kong, well done. Lolly Lolly, no. Lolly Lolly, was being born? No, remember, you need that verb had. I wish I had been born. It's very important you get that verb and the verb three. Yep, uh, Ivan, yep. Thank you for putting that out, Ivan, yeah. Be, was, been. That's the verb one, two, three. Really, really good. Well done. Lolly, lolly, don't worry. I'm, I mean, if you knew all of the grammar structures, you wouldn't need the videos. You wouldn't need to practice. So don't worry, that was, that was a good guess. Don't worry, you'll get it next time, I promise. Okay, so you guys, um, let's take it a bit higher, a bit more advanced. I imagine you're taking notes or making notes for this lesson, right? If you're making notes, that means you're awesome. If not, then I hope that you have a very good memory because now it's your test. Now it's a time for a test. So let's... Um, that there okay so we, i'm going to give you some past wishes and pr whoops present wishes you're going to write the, the correct version of all of them okay so what were they um what have we got um a new job so we need a verb for that um present wish Put numbers with them so you know which one we're talking about. Have a new job. That's one. Screenshots work too, Elena. Yeah, really good. 
uh, speak perfect English. Uh, we did that one already. Um, you know what? I'm going to let you have creative control. Money. Make a sentence with money. Get married. That one's going to be an interesting one. That one's going to be an interesting one. Holiday and know the meaning of life. Okay. Let's have a look, see. Oh, damn, Paolo. Thanks, man. Thanks for the super chat, dude. What if you use past perfect continuous? I wish I had been following you. Thanks, P. Patrick. It's so kind of you, yeah. Um, I wish I had been following you for a longer time. That's That's great. You've used a past. That's a past wish. Wish I had. Because it's continuous. You need B-I-N-G. Had been following. That's a perfect sentence. And also, thank you so much for the donation. This is really kind of you, and I really appreciate you. Thank you so much, man. Yeah. Paolo Petri, you're just a legend, you are. Um, okay, so, let's go... Do, 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 do. Okay, Hussam Sayafa, you said um, I could have a job. So you've added the verb can. That's fine. That's fine. Yes. Yeah, so, okay. Um, could have a new job. That's fine. So these are all I wish. I wish uh, they're all I. Okay. I wish I could have a new job. That's fine. Um, Hatem is more uh, on on point with this. Yeah, had. Ivana Klein, well done. If... Ev... Gesha? Ev Gesha? Is that... Sorry, my, my reading of Russian is very bad. I'm sorry. Ev Gesha, I think? Um, yeah, this stream will be recorded. You can watch it later if you missed it. Don't worry. 8251, had a new job. Yes. Liamda, uh, Liamda, Liamda, hey. Wish I had. Good. Duck. Nice one. Frank. Anna. Yes. All really good. Olga. Nice. Steiser. Nice. Matt Aldine. Awesome. Um, Valens. Thank you, man. That's really nice of you. Uh, Mavi. Yep. Yeah, really good. Christina. Perfect. Yasmi. Karina. What about future wishes? Um, that one we come to in a moment. Chomic. Yes. So basically, yes, everyone got the right idea. I wish I had, because remember this one takes it to past simple. So it's normal. Um, number, number two, money, 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 money. Yes, yes, yes. I wish I had a million pounds, 8251. So again, we used, I wish I had money. That's great. Wish I had money. Really, really good. Uh, duck with an interesting one. I wish I could earn. What do you say? I wish I could earn a lot of money. That's a really good sentence. Well done, Doug. A lot of money. Well done, Doug. That's awesome. Um, wish I had money. Yeah, really good. Frank, well done. Christina, well done. You guys are so fast. Oh, my God. And uh, new people, we're talking about wishes. Okay, the next one is get married. Okay. Let this one, this is why it's interesting. So, uh, the situation is you are not married, right? You're not married, but you wish that it was the opposite. So, how do we change that? We wouldn't use the verb get why? Because get married, that's to begin to be married. So does it sound right to say, I wish I 
began to be married. That doesn't make sense. Or I wish I started to be married. Again, the situation doesn't make sense. You want the situation. So we changed that verb. If you have a ring, you don't say, oh, I, I get married. Because that would mean, oh, generally, you start to be married. That No, right? So you would say, I am married. Or I am not married. So how do we change it? Um, Animob. Animob, why are you so cool? Yes, I wish I... I was married. There we are. I wish I was married. There's another version of that. You could also say I wish I were married. What's the difference? Well, it's a subjunctive mood. It's, it's imaginary. So just know if you're using ifs or wishes, change the I was to an I were. So in a write in a written test, uh, a writing test, or any English test, you should write. You should answer with "I wish I were." Same with he, she, it. I wish he, she, it were. That's the correct grammar form. But in conversation, we would just say, oh, "I wish I was married." We just say this one in conversation. So. Easy way to remember. Conversation. Test. Um, is this the same with present wishes? Yeah, Karina, these are all present wishes. So I've color coded it. Blue. These are all present wishes. Next, we'll do past wishes. Palazzo, thanks for the super chat, dude. Um, I wish I never got married. Okay. That's a past wish. You got married. That's the real situation, right? You got married. But. Thanks, dude. Yeah, that's a past situation. So remember how the past wish changes the, the grammar? Yeah. So be careful of that one. Try your sentence again. Uh, you said, I wish, I'm gonna put this down here because I will come back to that. It's, there's an interesting point. I wish I never got married. I'm gonna bring my microphone over here. This is very annoying being over there. Uh, microphone, you fall over when I don't want you to, but when I want you to move, you're stuck. Pfft. Who taught you how to be a microphone? Where did you go to microphone school? There you go. Um, but yeah, so we'll come back to you, uh, Palazzo, and thank you for the super chat. That's very kind of you. Um, I wish I got married. Right, right, right. So... Animab, you had the perfect answer before. Don't change it now. Uh, for holiday, let's go to holiday. All right. Oh, we're very far down. I'm sorry. Kind of lost it here. Okay, right, so Sama, I wish I had holiday. I wish You're missing an article there, Sama. I wish I had a holiday. I wish I had a holiday. I wish I had a holiday. Robbie Data, I wish I were a billionaire. Great use of subjunctive mood. Yeah, I wish I were a billionaire. Great. David Sousa, I were married equals divorce? No, because remember, this is wish. I wish I were married. You want that situation. 
to be now. So we use past tense grammar. It's weird. It's weird, I know, but English is a weird language. Patricia Popper, I wish I were married to Ali. You really don't. I'm very boring. Um... I wish I had English as my first language. Great example. Really good sentence. Yeah. Olga, I wish I spent my holidays in Cyprus. So Cyprus, country, in. With the preposition with countries, in. In England, in Ireland, in Argentina, in Russia. So you talk about a country. Preposition is in, in Cyprus. Okay, yeah, so that's good. I wish I had a holiday. I wish I, I wish I was on holiday. Great, Melik. Yeah, well done. Really good example. I wish, um, Elena, wish I were on holiday. That's really good. Perfect. Yeah, so... Again, you've used both. I wish I were on holiday. Formally speaking, in a test, you use that one. But in conversation with people, you always hear this one. Always. Um, not always. It depends. If the person wants to be perfect with their grammar, they, they will say were. Sometimes I do it. How do you pronounce stand still? Uh, as a noun, stand still. You put the stress on the first syllable. Stand still. Like the city yesterday was at a standstill. Nothing moved. It's a good word. It's a good word. Uh, and the last one. Know the meaning of life. This one's very easy. What's the, the correct way of doing that one? I wish I what? I wish I... Lady D, I wish I could forget the past. Oh <gasps> my god. I mean, perfect grammar, perfect sentence, but that's sad. I wish I knew. Yeah, perfect. Asude, you say, well done, well done. Um, Amar, excellent. Rodrigo, yeah, everyone, everyone got it. Everyone got it perfect. I wish I knew the meaning of life. It's just taking present to the past, right? Oh, is Monmon Mon in the chat? Is Monmon Mon here? I didn't see a message. Is there a little... <gasps> Monmon, Mon, you're here! Um, okay. Waiting for past wishes. Yes, so those of you just joining, we're talking about wishes, present and past. We're moving to future wishes soon too. If you have a question, don't moan at me for not seeing it because the comments go very fast. But you can use um, a super chat function and I will always see it. So that's an option. Um, this one. Yeah. Monica, you're always at work when you join the live streams. You're so bad. You <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, so past wishes. If you've just joined us, the past wishes have a different grammar form. So the past wishes were, I wish I had a dog. When I was a child, I wish I had been born in the UK. Okay, I will give you some new ones, some different ones. I'm going to give you guys a test. There we are. I'm going to give you, a go you guys a test. So remember, it's the same. I wish... Um, let's do number one will be, I wish I... So in the chat, when you see, the, when you have the answer, type it in. And also practice your own examples. Present or past, doesn't matter. I'll, I'll correct you. I wish I married a Korean guy. Fatima, okay, if there's any Korean guys in the chat, hit Fatima up. She's looking for a Korean guy. <laughs> Fatima, you don't... You don't know that um, that I'm quite the Cupid and uh, people fall in love in these streams, in these chats, so. 
Let's, I'm going to hook you up today, Fatima. Husame, so grammatically, yes, but something you've missed there. Andre, uh, I wish that the English teacher Pope sends me a hug live. I'm Okay, I'm going to send you a hug, but that's my name. Ali. Uh, also, it's not after the Pope. If anything, it's after potato. So call it potato teach me if you have to. We wish something about the future. We can use future. Would okay, yeah, we're moving on to the future in a moment. Um, yes, yeah, Sama, well done. I wish I had slept earlier last night. Really good one. I wish I had. Remember, we always, always start a past wish with had. I wish I had. And then that's verb three. It's the same in past and past, uh, past perfect. Sleep, slept, slept. It's the same earlier. Well done. Julie, uh, July Miller. Julie, Jolly, Jolly. How do I say your name, Julie? Julie Miller. Oh, that coffee's kicking in. Um... Oh, hey, Rodrigo. Ambrorio, how you doing? Oh, the Twitch people. You've joined, because you're legends. Um, teach us some complex sentences uh, above seven or above an hour. We'll do that in a, in a moment, bro. I've got you, don't worry. Um, Eugenia. Hey, Genie Vixen. I wish I'd slept earlier last night. Great. Perfect. I wish I had slept earlier. Well done. Um, wish I had a teacher, honeybee. Right, so you're saying you don't have a teacher right now. You want a teacher right now. I wish I had a teacher. Really good, well done. Hey, Virginia Pratt, thank you for the love and welcome to the channel. Um, Ivan, I wish I had slept earlier. Well done, really good. Um, okay, Gavorg, I wish I had been slept. Check your sentence again, man. It's it's close. It's almost there. It's almost there. Andre Cunha. I wish I could have slept more because I'm tired. Yeah, so you could include that. It was impossible to sleep. I wish I could have slept more. Really good. Yeah, really, really good. Um... How if we use a continuous tense? Um, okay, well, let's let's try that. Actually, you know what? Let's try that one. Um, okay. Oh, okay. The married thing. So this the situation is uh, with married. I got married, but I wish that ew, that that didn't happen. So, um, how would we change a negative? This is the true test. Didn't get married. Try that one. I'll think of a, a continuous version for you. Wish I had known your page before. Me too, man. But you're here now. We're all here. We're all family. Um, wish I, um... Uh, we're going to get more difficult. Wasn't sleeping. I uh, wish I... Situation. Wasn't sleeping. Um, when you arrived. Let's try that. So we've got a past wish with... Continuous. So try to change two and three. Put the numbers two and three, right? So I know which one's which. Okay, yep. Yeah. Um, so a few of you... Uh, so Sama, I wish I hadn't been married. Yes, that's fine. But that, I wish I hadn't been married. You're talking about the entire marriage. This one, we're talking about the start of the marriage. This one... Is probably what we would say. So, Jolly Miller, uh, I wish I hadn't got married. Well done, Jolly Miller. Well done. Um, Mon Mon, I wish I didn't got married. <gasps> didn't got? No. 
Mon Mon, you should have been here earlier. Remember, it's had and the verb three. So I wish I, Jelly Miller got it, uh, uh, Nova Sama. This one's a difficult one. Don't worry if you didn't get it perfectly. Um, I wish, I wish if, no, don't mix them. I wish if I didn't get married. No, it's different. Matt Aldean. Perfect. I wish I hadn't got married. Well done. Animob. I wish I had not got married. Lose yet. You don't want yet in that sentence. Ivana Klein. I wish I hadn't got married. Perfect. <laughs> Tom Tom. So formal. One wishes one hadn't got married. It's so formal. But I mean, yeah, grammatically, it's great. Karina, wish I hadn't got married. Um, Mariam Khan, wish I hadn't got married in the first place. Excellent. Frank, hadn't been married again. Yes. High and low. Awesome. Well done. Shanghai, hadn't got married. Amar, hadn't got married. Perfect. Um, Elena, I wish I had finished my career earlier. Perfect example, Elena. Well done. I wish I had never got married from Azar. Well done. Really good. Husume is safer. I wish I hadn't been married. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, we're already back there. So it's hadn't or had not. You don't have to contract it. You can separate it. Wish I hadn't got married. Number three. This one is the more difficult one. So don't worry if you don't get it perfect. Um, Marietta. Ooh, starting from the bottom. Marietta. I wish I had not been sleeping. Very nice. Straight out of the gate. Well done, Marietta. Um, Miguel, I wish I hadn't been sleeping. Yeah. So, Paolo Petric, if you're still watching, that's how you use the, that past perfect continuous with this. Really good examples. Hadn't been sleeping. Wish I hadn't been sleeping. Really, really good. <laughs> I wish I hadn't been ever seen no ambrorio it's a bit different i wish i hadn't ever seen pineapples oh my god these hiccups will they ever leave me consuelo i wish i hadn't been sleeping when you arrived that's perfect consuelo well done really good oh tom, you were trying to be posh tom tom yeah it worked it was really really good liana mayuri wish i hadn't been sleeping excellent yep wish i hadn't been sleeping well done emma Really good. So, Rodrigo, I wish I were not sleeping when you started the class. What's the correct, correct grammar? I wish I hadn't been sleeping. Jenny, yeah, I wish I hadn't been sleeping. Excellent. Really, really good. Really, really good. You guys are amazing. You guys are so good. It seems like a tutorial of maths. It feels like that. It feels like that because you have to add all these things together. It's a bit crazy. Yeah. So, um, Palazzo, um, the, he said, I wish I never got married. So we know that the correct version, the grammatically correct version is this. I wish I hadn't got married. Or I wish I had never got married. That's okay too. But, 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 but. Very important to note. When, when you speak, when, when we have spoken English and written English or English in a test, they're like two worlds. The written English that's way less formal. Uh, it's way more formal. Sorry. The written English is more um, structured. It's more traditional grammar, right? But spoken English or like text English, it's more relaxed. People are more forgiving in spoken and text English. So to answer your question, I wish I never got married. That's cool. That's fine. I wish I never got married in spoken English, informal English. So let's say we're talking, we're having a beer and you're like, oh, I'm so stressed. I hate my wife. <laughs> I 
I wish I never got married. Yeah, I mean, that's what you would hear in spoken English. Grammatically, it should be this. But that, to be honest, when you're speaking English informally, that's what you'll hear. So just keep that in mind. Just keep that in mind. So some of your examples, I want to read some of your examples. Um, I wish I hadn't been missing today's lesson. So missing to miss, that would be a stative verb. Don't use it in continuous. Just say, I wish I hadn't missed today's lesson. Um, I wish I hadn't. Liana Mayuri, I wish I hadn't eaten four or five pieces of pizza. Um, eaten. Use it in simple. I wish I hadn't eaten. Oh, right. Yeah. Hope. Perfect. So now we're talking about future things, right? So those deal with past and present situations. What about future? Well, a wish. A wish is an imaginary present or an imaginary past. So if you want to change the present or change the past, you need to use your imagination. But to change the future, it's not really a wish. It's a hope. It's a hope. It's different. So, um, you know, what? I'm kind of lying. I mean, we can also use wishes to talk about future. Okay. Oh God, that's wrong. Um, well, yeah. Oh, I know. Use this one. I want you to write your own examples of try. Just try a hope. Try a hope example. I hope I would be rich. Um, Abdullah. So we'll need to change that sentence. We'll need to change that sentence. I wish I hadn't been drinking all night. <laughs> Thomas Felix, really good one, really good one. Um, so, Govin Kumar, I hope I could see you. We'll need to change that. Remember your sentence. We're going to change that in just a moment. I hope I will be president. Robin, okay. Okay, Robin. Yeah, that one works. That one's really good. Hey Del Rey, hey in Brazil, how you doing? I wish I was celebrating my birthday now. Yeah, really, really good, well done. Really good examples. I hope I would be in St. Peter's, but okay, so I'm seeing, are you seeing that there's a pattern here? People writing hope with woods. So that's that's a common mistake. Don't worry. Um, we're gonna we're gonna change that. We're going to fix it. So it's not a problem. Um, Marietta, I wish to own an apartment in three years. Okay. Um, yes and no. We're gonna change it. It'll sound better. Okay. Um, what's the sentence gonna be? Um, Okay, let's do this. Uh. 
You know what? I want to talk to some of you on Skype, actually, today. Oh, God, what happened with their eyes? And I want you to tell me about your, your hopes and wishes. So I think we're going to open up Skype in a moment. <laughs> She's got drunk eyes right now. <laughs> this drawing has gone all wrong. Oh, wow. This has gone all wrong. I've given a drunk uh, one eye bigger than this is terrible. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> uh, Mammy Mima, perfect example, perfect sentence, and also me too. Yeah, so these guys, they're so in love, right? They're so in love, and they, they want their future to be together, right? <laughs> one one today, it's not you, don't worry. Um, what are they going to say, though? What are they going to say? I hope... What? I hope... Oh, God. Ooh. Um, we, oui. the verb we're going to use is, get married one day, I hope, we, blah, 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 the verb is get married, that's what they're saying to each other, because they love each other. They're just so in love, and it's all so lovely. Um, yeah. Let's have a look, see what you have. I hope we... Yeah, Toti Muhammad, I hope we get married. Um, so, Miruna, I wish we'll be married one day. No, not Miruna, no. Uh, Olga, I hope my English will be better after your lessons yeah okay that one sounds good um we might want to change that a little bit though palazzo i hope we get married well done really good palazzo well done well done all of you who got it right that's really well done i hope we get so we're talking about future right so we've just done past wishes present wishes now we're talking about future hopes we're going to move to that, don't worry. But for right now, yeah, future hopes. So I hope we get married. The verb doesn't change. It just stays the same. I hope we get married. Um, I hope we get married one day. But there's a, there's a, slight, there's a slight problem to this story. Um, so what do we think? We're, they're definitely going to get married or no? What do you think? Are they getting married? What do you reckon? I hope reggaeton classes make me a better dancer. Tish, really? You, <laughs> you're Brazilian. You're probably already a perfect dancer. I hope we get married one day. You're perfect. Really, really good. Um, can I join your class where and when? Damn it, you're already in it, man. You're already in the class. You're here. It's happening now. 50%. Oh my, you're such a pessimist. Or are you an optimist? Novikov? Tekla, you've been to Novikov? That's a dope place. That place is uh, expensive as hell, though. They will. Yeah, okay, so the comments, it really sounds like... It really sounds like uh, they're going to get married, right? So they are definitely going to get married. Let's say that. We know. We know it. They don't know it, but we, we know. Me and you. They will. Definitely get married. They will definitely get married. Um, but yeah, there's another side to this story. Who's this poor little soul?
What is he going to say? Let's imagine that they're getting married on... I don't know, on September the 1st. You know, this is definitely, definitely going to happen, right? It's definitely going to happen. But this, this poor little, poor unfortunate soul. Is he the violinist? Yes. Friend zone guy. Oh, no. No, so this guy... He doesn't want the marriage. He knows definitely they are getting married, but he doesn't want that. He wants them not to get married. So he's going to say, I wish... I wish that this is not the situation. So let's, let's break this down. What is the situation? They are getting married. This, this is the situation. They are getting married. He doesn't want that. He wishes that this were not true. So what will he say? I wish what? Um, don't overthink it. It's a lot simpler um, than you think. If you've been following so far, you'll know exactly how to change this. You'll know exactly how to change this. No one's got it yet. No one's got it. Oh my God, what's happening? Remember what I've just taught you. Oh, Palazzo. Palazzo's got it. I wish that... Is it only Palazzo that has it? City almost has it. City almost has it. Um, oh, Suyana almost had it, but it went wrong at the end there. Um, let's have a look here. I I genuinely think only Palazzo. Uh, you only you got it right. I think you only got it. Only you got it right. Dude, you're the only person who got it right. Well done. Um, he's going to say, because remember, so yes, it's the future, but that's the situation, right? They are getting married. We're using that continuous tense to talk about the future. They are getting married next September, right? So what do we do? We change it. We take it back a tense. I wish they, what do we change here? No, you, you, all of you, you're so close to having it. You're so close to having it. I wish they weren't getting married. So, yeah, it's the future, but... Think about how we say the situation. They are getting married in the future. But that's that's the future form, right? So we just change it. If it's present, we change it to past, remember. So I wish they weren't getting married. Yeah. Um, Asude also, I wish they were not getting married. That's fine too. Okay, so... Remember, if it's a future thing, it's definitely going to happen. You don't want the definitely thing to happen. Then use wish in this way. But if it's just a, hmm, I want this to happen in the future. Just a want. It's not definite, but I want this future. I hope. For the present. Right? So, try your examples in the comments. Try your examples in the comments. Sorry, Tama, um, if I missed your sentences, sorry. If you got it right, I trust you. I trust you. So, write your own examples in the comments. I'll read the best ones.
Wish they weren't getting... Yeah, Govin, well done. Yeah, really good. Yeah, so City, you were very, very close. You were very close. You got it now. Now you, I hope you see the difference. Yeah, really good. Well done. Okay, so, perfect. Um... Uh, the Korean name that I... I forgot all my Korean. I'm sorry. Um, I hope I go to Australia this summer. Perfect example. I hope I go to Australia. Really good example. Well done. Also, um, if you're Korean and a guy, Fatima... Um, Fatima wants a husband from Korea. So, send her a message. You can't hear me chewing on that mouth. <laughs> That's gross. I know, but... Sorry. I hope I visit London this year. Perfect. Yeah, I hope I visit. Excellent. <laughs> Alexi has the most innocent sentence ever. I wish cats weren't so naughty. Yeah. Really good. Um, I wish I ate less sugar. Is that Lisa, Lisa Yanovskaya? Yanovskaya? Maybe that's, you know, again, my, so my reading of Russian and um, Korean, uh, it's, I'm a bit rusty, so forgive me if I get it wrong. But yeah, uh, I wish I ate less sugar. Very good. I wish I hadn't to go to work tomorrow. Ah, uh, that's a really good one. Oh my god, yeah, so we've got an obligation, right? So let's deal with that one as well. Obligations, remember, obligations, we'll use have to. So she said, I have to go to work tomorrow. This actually is a very common one to say, oh, I have to go to work tomorrow. Yeah, cool. So again, it is future... But what do we change? I wish. Ew. I wish I. I wish I. We're going to change it. We don't want this situation. I wish I didn't. Have to. I wish I didn't have to. That's present. We change it past. Just one. I wish I didn't have to go to work tomorrow. I wish if only. Yep, absolutely. Um, be good. I wish I win a lottery. Nope. Bring it to the past. I wish I won the lottery. Well done. I hope I get eight in IELTS. I hope you do too, SUD. I hope you do too. Um, Leonardo, look at your sentence. Um, someone else is getting a promotion. If it's definitely hap happening, I wish he he wasn't or he weren't getting the promotion. Or if you're not sure, I hope he doesn't get the promotion. So, Leonardo, you can change that sentence there. Um, oh, dear. I hope you've done well. Great. One excellent sentence. Yeah, well done, well done, well done. I hope I meet you one day. Me too. If you do, give me a high five. Um, I wish it weren't Monday tomorrow. <laughs> Perfect example. Born to be a polyglot. Yeah, that's a great... I like that sentence. A uh, really, really good sentence. Alexandra Galvan. I wish I could speak English and have a date with my crush. Perfect. Perfect sentence. I hope I get an amicable divorce. Well, that sounds very mature. Yeah, well done. Really good. Um, I went to school yesterday. I wish I not didn't. I wish I hadn't. Because it's past. Lady D, I hope I marry a Londoner. Guy. You don't need guy in that sentence. I hope I marry a Londoner. Perfect. Um, hope I see you. Excellent. Uh, Maria Ryzen, I wish... That Bolsonaro has not been elected. So the election was passed, right? So we need to change that. I wish Bolsonaro hadn't been elected. Passed. Uh, 
Um, okay, let's have a look. Wish I could have a free day tomorrow. Yeah, Gozier Eagle. Well done. Really, really good. In <laughs> my stomach. I'm not hungry or anything. Um, <laughs> Lisa, I wish I would have had a dog. No, I wish I had. Whoops. I wish I had had a dog. Wish I'd. It's common to contract it as well. I wish I had. I wish I'd had a dog. I wish I didn't have to go to work. Perfect, Chris English. See you later, Chris. Enjoy the rest of the lesson. Thanks, bud. Thanks for joining us. Is I didn't have to a subjunctive tense. In some cases, yes. I have a whole video on that, though. <laughs> mon mon, you charmer. Um, it's a difference between I hope I will and I hope I present. Yes. Um, there was another sentence with a really good um, example of that. I'll try and go back to it in a moment. I'm thinking of something I've missed already. Yeah, cool. I hope that we get a beach house. Andre Cunha, really good example there. Really, really good. I wish I could run like a panther. Excellent. Really, really good. Cool. Cool. Um, you know what? We should do a bit of pronunciation, don't you think? So, we're going to move on to pronunciation. Tell me your pronunciation... Um, questions what would you like to learn with pronunciation um i have a mouth this section is all about pronunciation ask me your pronunciation questions and i'll give you an answer i wish ali my name is ali <laughs> Had good health for the rest of his life. Thanks, man. Thanks. That's very kind of you. Um, when do we use have got to? Like, I've got to study. That. Use it for obligations. Like, when you say, I have to, I've got to. It's the same thing. Cost us. Leakage. Really good. Yeah. Leakage. Um, Suniva. Anesthesia. Um, anesthesia. Anesthesia. Try and get that sound. I wanted to ask the transcription of the word worry. Um, but I hear many natives say worry. Yeah, that's a really good question. I never thought about that. Um, yeah. You can say wa worry. You can say wa worry. Um, example, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's the same. Sometimes you say worry. Sometimes you say worry. It's the same as that either, either thing, right? It's the same thing. Um, someone said clothes. I missed your name, but clothes. So yeah, it's the same as the opposite of open. Close. Just say it that way. Open, close, close. If you want to, if you want to say the, the correct way i suppose then you really need to learn the v pronunciation v clothes clothes it's difficult it needs practice but you can do it i believe in you psychiatrist lolly lolly psychiatrist psychiatrist Alexandra, um, Alexandre, Shandy, interesting. So interesting. Contract this bit here. Instead of interesting, get rid of that e. Intre, tre, interesting, interesting, like that. 
Yvette, managed and advanced. Yeah, so not managed, advanced said. No, managed, advanced. Owen, Q, Q. Horace, bold, bored, bored. S the second and third words, exactly the same pronunciation. Bored, bored. Third one, bold. It has an L there. Bold, bold. Want and won't. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, want and won't. Want. Won't. That's a really good one. Want is, I think it's that. I, I'm so shit with the phonetics. Won't. Uh, uh, ooh, I think it's that one. Yeah, want, won't. These are the vowel sounds in these words. Want. Won't. Very quickly, this one is very short. Wa, wa, want, want, want. This one has two separate sounds that go into each other. From this, a, uh, ooh, make this sound with me. O, uh, a, uh, ooh, a, uh, ooh. Link them together. O, o. Oh, same with phone, go, home. So, yeah. Um, th those ones too. So, this one is simple, short. Oh, oh. Mouth shape doesn't change. This one, mouth shape does change. Let me show you again the difference. Oh. Oh, oh, so your mouth, the jaw closes a bit with this one and your lips close as well like this. Watch again. Oh, oh, oh. Think of wow, like the second half of wow. Oh, oh, kind of. <clears throat> Stay there, microphone. Dumb microphone. Yeah, oh, so, want, won't, won't. See the mouth is like opening then closing, won't. So you must get that big, it's a big movement. So that's how you differentiate. So let's do them all together. This one, very simple, very short. Want, not, got, hot, all have this sound. This one, O, oh, O, oh, won't, won't, won't. Exaggerate the movement to really practice it. Won't, won't. O, O, O. See how my, my jaw, my mouth closes and the lips, they close too. O, oh, phone, phone, go, go. Home, home. Husame, through and thorough. Through, thorough, thorough. Caridas, yes, uh, close as well. Oh, close, phone, go, home. Perfect, yeah, really good examples, yeah. Edoveggi, wound or wound, it depends. Uh, that, that spelling has two different pronunciations. Um, if it's the past of wind, then it's wound, ow, ow. What the hell is the phonetics for that it's like this one isn't it i might be wrong i think it's that one ow ow is it ow i'm pretty sure it's this one ow wound sorry that's the phonetics for this not this wound but if it's like an injury then it's ooh wound ooh wound 
White almond is almond, not all almond. It honestly depends on the person. Um, I would say it's... When people say almond, it annoys me. I don't know why. There's no logic behind it. But I hate the pronunciation of almond. I always pronounce the L. Almond. Almond milk. Um... Entrepreneur. Uh, Jolly Miller. Entrepreneur. It's a French word, so we probably pronounce it wrong. Entrepreneur. Pull. Pool. Pull. Pool. Oh, hello. Palazzo. How you doing? Orangutan. It's not easy to pronounce the N correctly when it's in the middle of the word before a vowel. Orangutan. Orangu. No, no. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. That's probably true, actually. <laughs> Orangutan. Orangutan. That's difficult. I suppose it is. Anya! And you said a banana super sticker. That's amazing. I didn't... I didn't know that that was even an option. <laughs> That's amazing. Thanks... Thanks, Anya. Thanks, Banana. I love you guys. Um, peace, peace, peace. Okay, Stasia Rain. The first two are the same. Peace, peace. Third one, peace. It's um Z sound. Peace. Voiced. Vibration in the throat. Um, yeah, so go back, going back to Palazzo, um, Orangutan. Getting that mm. Before the vowel sound. So in orangutan. Orangutan. Yeah, you just, you just have to practice it, man. That's what it comes down to, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay. Husami. Neurological. Neur. Neur. It's like an N. Yeah. Neurological. Abdullah, confession. It's like a sh. Confesh. Confession. Ambrorio, awkward. Quid. It's not awkward. Awkward. No, it's awkward. It's a schwa. Quid. Read in past and present. What's the difference, Thamma? That's a very good question. You need to see the context in full. For example, um, for me too, if I'm reading in a book or newspaper, the word R-E-A-D, that one, if I see this, I'll be like, oh, and I read this book yesterday. Oh, I read this book yesterday. So for me, too, it's not always obvious which one it is. Um, pronunciation wise, it's different. In present, read. Past, read. Um, but to know which one is which, sometimes it's not obvious. Sometimes it's not obvious. Roman, cellular, cellular, cellular. Zikri, immediately, immediately. Oh God, I've got the burps now. This is not good. Okay, oh my God, we've already been going an hour and a half. Sorry, I've, okay. We'll do a few more and then we'll go, um, we'll go away. <laughs> but also, um, I do this from now. We're doing this Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday on Twitch. You see down, just down there, twitch.tv slash Papa Teach Me. If you go on that website or the app, make sure you hit the heart to follow me. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I stream those days for two hours. So if you have any other questions or anything, you can join me there Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Nadezhda, thesaurus, thesaurus, thesaurus.
Adriana Tottenham. How do you say it? We say it. We say it like a station um, I go to almost every day. Tottenham Court Road. Did you hear how I said it? Whoops. Tottenham. So these two letters I remove. That's a glottal T. Tot. Tot. Num. Num. Remove the H. Num. Tottenham. Tottenham. Furious Cartman. Thank you. <laughs> What's your question, Furious Cartman? Explain when we use... I think you mean the and the. Um, yeah, okay. Great question. Great question. Oh, God. Terrible writing. Um... See that okay, good. When do we use the and when do we use the? Great question. So the is is if you've seen my video about a and an, it's the exact same rule. The is when there's a consonant sound afterwards. So the park. Ooh, whoops. I've done this wrong. There we go. Oh my, this is just terrible. Let me start that one again. Um. There we go. Um, orange internet. Umbrella. Universe, um, MMM, what were the other words there? Park, that was it. Right, yeah, so you pronounce it the when there's a consonant sound after. Road, park, universe. When there's a vowel sound after. Then we say the, the, this is about connected speech. The orange, the orange, you connect it. This, this is about connected speech. It's a y sound, the orange, the orange. So you wouldn't say the pause orange. It would be the orange, the orange, the internet, the internet. So again, it links into the next word with a y sound. The internet. The umbrella. The umbrella. Okay, so it's not about the letter. It's not about the letter, because these are both U's. But in this word, you pronounce U universe. U. So it's not a vowel sound, it's a consonant sound. Y. This one, ah. Ah, umbrella. It's a vowel sound. That's the difference, Furious Cartman. So it's a vowel sound, the, and it links into the next vowel sound. The, when it's a consonant sound. That's the difference. Okay, I promise only one more question, but here we are. Um, yeah. Uh, fam, the orange, the other. Yeah, good. We'll add that one to the list. The other, exactly. Um, Abdullah, spontaneity, spontaneity, neity, that's how it ends, spontaneity. How can you send me a picture? Please don't. Um, I, yeah, I get some pictures through my Instagram, which I'd rather not, so don't, please.
hole and hole. Exactly the same pronunciation. Hole. Hole. It's the same. Mohit. Sarcasm. Sarcasm. Thama. Chaos. Chaos. Yes, um, Sama, me too. Thank you guys so much for joining. If you want to follow me more, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I'll be streaming live on twitch.tv slash papa teach me. Hit the heart to follow me and get a notification when I'm live. Um, that's every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 6 p.m. I might change it to 5 p.m. We'll go for an hour or two there. <laughs> oh my god. And it's a nice little family we have. Um, also, you can follow me on social media at Papa Teach Me. On I, so I think my upload schedule is changing. Thursdays, Saturdays, a new videos on YouTube. With a with every Sunday, we're right back here doing a live class every Sunday. So I'll see you guys, Mavi. See you on Twitch, man. Um, thanks for joining me again. You guys are awesome. Thanks for hanging out. This has been really fun. I'll be back again. See you guys.